G'day and welcome back to episode two of Do Your Clue Scrolls. And today we are doing a giveaway. I am giving away all the unique items I get from today's video. So comment below, I'll pick one and you get every unique item that I get from the Clue Scrolls. Let's start with our beginner clue at Charlie the Tramp. The loot could be terrible. The loot could be huge. But if you don't buy a ticket, you don't win the raffle. Like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you're new. Charlie wants us to get a raw herring. Straight to Harry and Catherby, we got our bait and we're good to fish our herring. We give Charlie the herring, gives us a new clue, and now we're off to Falador. We dig amongst the stones and we get a new clue. Back to the bank to get our strange device. Our strange device takes us to the cow pen north of Lumbridge and we've got our beginner casket. On to the easy clue. For our easy clue, we build our stash unit, we do a little jig, talk to Yuri, how good. A second step took us to the two-handed sword shop in Tavoli. Has anyone ever shopped here before? Our final easy step forces us to do a bit of grave robbing. We open this coffin in Edgeville and we got our casket. On to the medium clue. Our first step sees us descend into the Lumbridge Swamp Cave. Luckily we have a stash unit here already. We equip our gear, do a dance, blow a kiss, talk to Yuri. Second step please. This time off to Yanil, again, stash unit in place. This time we jump for joy, do a jig. Yuri's here again, hey champ. Give us our third step. For our final step of our medium clue, we have to run north past Sears Bank, along the railways to the northwest, west across the log, and then north to the very edge of the water, north of the coal trucks. Medium casket obtained, let's do our hard clue. First we solved a riddle for the spirit tree with a sweet moustache. Then we showed this Saradamin wizard how to really use a DDS, including a couple of pokes for good measure. Searched a bookcase in Charlo Village. We took the glider to the top of White Wolf Mountain with the gnome captain. Spoke to him, he gave us a puzzle box, we smashed it out and we got our hard casket. Let's move on to the elite clue. Compared to our last elite, this was pretty straightforward. We talked to good old Dominic Onion. We did have to trek out to the deep wilderness, but we made light work of the Bandosian Guard. Sit. And we even got a Raynar weed for our trouble. How good. On to the next step. Our next step saw us crack the stash unit that we built last episode outside the Fight Arena pub. We did what every good patron would do in the pub. We headbanged, we talked to Yuri, got our next step. And then I got distracted and did the gravestone random event because I needed to do the zombie dance. But. Come on, look at this and tell me it wasn't worth it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Back to the clue though, we solved a riddle for guard Vermeldo in the Gnome Stronghold, and he gave us our penultimate step. Thanks, champ! Our final step, simple, simple game. Peeled back the layers, talked to Dominic Onion, we've got our casket. Okay, we have completed one of each clue scroll. Let's see which reward is the best. Let's see potentially who's taking home some goodies. We'll start with our beginner clue. Ah, oh, that's just awful. All right, easy clue, come on, redeem. Ooh, amulet of magic trimmed. Yeah, cool, okay. Pretty decent for an easy clue. New collection log item. Let's try for our medium clue. Come on, baby. And that is what I'd expect from a medium clue, really. Let's go with our hard clue. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's shocking. Okay. Better than last episode. Let's finish off with our elite clue. Come on, something big. Something over 100k. Well, it's over 100k. 330k. Hmm... Was that worth it? Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Cheers.